Spokane County Sheriff's detectives are still trying to piece together the deaths of two people found this morning inside a burning home. Investigators have been on scene since firefighters arrived early this morning. We want to show you exactly where this investigation is taking place this afternoon. Here is the North Division Y. 395 is there on the left. Hawthorne Avenue is here. And this is Highway 2. Now we move in a little closer, and the bodies were discovered inside a home on the corner of Elm and Highway 2. And that's where Karina Shagrin is tonight. And Karina, you talked to the friends and family of one of those victims. Yeah, and first, uh, Dave, we should mention that the sheriff's office just confirmed within the last 10 minutes that one of the victims is 20-year-old Tanner Pell. This was an agonizing day for his family. We spoke with them frequently throughout the day. They feared that this was the result, that they would find Tanner inside the house. And again, that is indeed what happened. Now the f family and, and friends of Tanner are trying to piece together what happened tonight. They're trying to figure out what led to this horrific crime the news hit pretty hard. While the sheriff's office won't confirm the identity of the two victims found inside this home, David Appleman at Brooklyn's Woodfire Grill says it was one of his employees that was killed last night. He never had any altercations. He was just wonderful, easy, easy to get along with. And I have notes inside. He'd leave little love notes for the employees. Appleman says 20-year-old Tanner Pell started working for him just over a year ago. On Pell's MySpace page, friends are already leaving condolences. He didn't do anything that I am aware of that would be bad. Sheriff's deputies arrived at Pell's house around 4.30 this morning after a passing motorist noticed billowing smoke. When deputies couldn't wake anyone up, they kicked in a door and busted through windows to get inside. That's when they found two bodies, one in a hallway, one in a bedroom. While fire crews battled flames, major crimes detectives were called in to investigate what's now being called a double homicide. Did they die as, as a result of the fire? And we now know that they did not. Investigators marked evidence inside and outside the home. They talked to several neighbors, but they're still not ready to identify the two victims, to release how they died, or tell us how the fire started. Appleman says he has no problem identifying Pell as a victim and wants others to know Pell was not the kind of guy to provoke the crime. There's no way Tanner deserved that at all. It's just that it should have never happened. And again, the sheriff's office has now confirmed that 20-year-old Tanner Pell was one of the victims inside the house. The other victim is a female. However, we do not have an age range for that female. We also do not know tonight how the two died or were killed, rather. Uh, in the meantime, fire investigators are investigating this as an arson, and tomorrow an autopsy should be performed on the two victims. If you have any information on this case, the sheriff's office is asking that you call the tip line. That number, of course, 242-TIPS. Reporting live, Karina Shagrin, KXLY4.